So get this right. <laughs> I'm making this video because I ain't trying to talk about it or bring it back, bring it up or nothing like that. But it's like this. Respect the hat. Love condoms. But anyway, what I'm trying to get people to understand is, do this look like a motherfucker that's... I'm sorry. I, I'm just doing this just for one time. Because I don't normally like to show off, flash off money. Even though I do do it sometimes. But I just want to show you. This look like a motherfucker that'll steal... That'll steal... This look like a motherfucker that'll steal from a... From a woman and some children. You know what I'm saying? Like... When I got that, okay, let me tell you something. When I got that stimulus check, it gave me a wake-up call. Save your money. And that's what I've been doing. You know what I'm saying? But this is going to go towards a car. Once I get that car, look at my shoe game. See that? See that? I got, I got over, over, I lost count after 12. I got over 12 pairs of shoes, brand new at the box. You know what I'm saying? So why would I want to... Look at these. These are real feelers. Real fucking feelers. You know what I'm saying? Why would I want to take some? And I'm only doing that because to show the world that, hey, man, I'm not rich. Let's clarify that. I'm broke as a motherfucker. But I know how to take this type of money and save it. Because I got to survive. I ain't filthy rich. I'm off a fixed income. I get Social Security. But for somebody to tell me that, oh, you stole money, you stole, not money, but you stole, um, you stole food out of my kid's belly, you was a lie. These the same kids I got love for, they my life on the line for, so you mean to tell me I'm going to steal from them? When the whole time they smashing on all the food? But yes, I'm posting this on YouTube to let the world know, you know what I'm saying, my ex be tripping. I had to just put that out there, you know what I'm saying? But you won't catch me ever in life taking. If I take anything from you, there's a reason behind it. It ain't like, oh, I just feel like thiefing and stealing shit. Because, see, I'm not an Indian giver. But if you say fuck me, then it's fuck you. Just remember that. You know what I'm saying? If you say fuck me, then it's fuck you. So if anything gets taken from you, it's because you said fuck me first. And you meant that shit like... Fuck my health, fuck my well-being. You just want to just do what you want to do. That's why I'm glad I went to the doctor. Paperwork, straight. Yeah, put that out there. And people hate when I go on fucking social media with my shit. But when I can't talk to the motherfuckers that, that cause the problem, I go to social media with it. Don't get mad at me. Just accept the fact that, hey, I'm a real nigga. I'm solid. I don't fucking play people until you play me. So why am I wrong when when you play me, you get you get a ghetto pass. But when I play you, I'm dead ass wrong. Get on the phone and you, you, you gossiping like a hen. And that's in, that goes for anybody. See this face? You gossip on me like a hen on the phone. Just click, 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 click. That goes for niggas, bitches, hoes, whoever. You know what I'm saying? You do that shit against me, guess what? Go on social media with the issue. And when I go to social media, what you speaking is lies. When you go on the phone and grrr, when I go on social media, Facts. Facts. Straight. Facts. No lie. Straight facts. No lie. I ain't gonna be no, I ain't gonna cut it or edit nothing. It's gonna be straight the truth. It happened, that's what it did. And like I said, when I went when when that like I'm 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 doing this video because I had a video before and it got lost when that shit had happened. So one thing I took was the brisket. Steak, like little little patties, and it was like steak burger patties, and uh like chicken tenders, like chicken like like raw chicken tenders that you know you gotta you got season you got flour you cook them yourself it was chicken basically you can make chicken alfredo with it, but that was stuff I bought out of my pocket my money, the the the, the uh the um brisket. Five finger Frank, you know what I'm saying? I went to the store. They was like, you know what I'm saying? You buy one, and, and the other one didn't cost shit because that was all me. The truth be told, that was all me. Stolen or paid for was all me. Came out of my situation. So, anything else in that house? Honey buns, airheads, uh, any other food? Your kids went smash city. When you leave. 
and go and chase behind other dick. That's what happens. You chase behind other dick, that's what happens. You supposedly have a man, and that's your man. Why is you chasing behind other dick? That's what hoes do. Real women don't do that shit. So, if you want to respect us, real woman, don't chase behind other dicks. I'm just putting this out there to just say, hey, look, I was been done and said, done and squashed all the shit. But when it's fuck me, it's fuck you. You know what I'm saying? And then when she called me, she was like, hey, oh, you you took some food out of my house and whoop, 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 whoop. You know what I'm saying? People don't like you to go on, on live and, 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 and expose you. I don't got shit to hide. Fuck that. Because at the end of the day, man, it's either you be real with yourself, don't be fake. Oh, and don't, and then see, I get the heads up. This video is old. I'm just revamping it. That's it. It's the same video, same words said. It's just revamped because the other video got lost. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got the hating. Oh, he went on Facebook Live and said this about me. But you on the phone telling motherfuckers what I did to you that you already done done to me. And you was on the phone before I even went on live and said what I said. Every time I ever went on live on Facebook or YouTube and said anything, you already said it first. You already went on the horn and talked to people with exposing and saying shit. So I was supposed to just fall back and don't say nothing. Y'all supposed to talk amongst each other as they say. Work it out when I'm not the one that's fucking up. When your family's saying, oh, y'all need to work that out. Why? I'm not the one out here horn and sticking my dick in every bitch. So... But you spread an eagle for every nigga. I can say that because it's real. You know what I'm saying? It's not fake. It's real. I can name off a what? Name off a list of motherfuckers that want to get in them draws, that already got in them draws, that every time they pop up when I was there, was still wanting to get in them draws. And you wasn't giving a shit about respecting, cause you haven't met the right one. See, I'm a humble dude. I'm a Scorpio. I don't let shit slide. But I have to because I love my life and I love my health. I don't want to be fucking having a shit bag because you want to be on that fuck shit. I'm a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? And you know that. Because if I wasn't a real nigga, them six kids that ain't even mine, I wouldn't be claiming them. And I wouldn't be still riding and dying for them. I'm a solid nigga. You know what I'm saying? Ain't they birthday up this 20th of June? 2020? Uh, if I'm mistaken, twins. Jada and Jayla. Love them. I love y'all. Your other daddy, I don't care what nobody say. Got love for y'all. Until God turns the lights out on this planet. Got something for y'all on y'all birthday. Hmm. Real nigga. Solid. I don't mean to put nobody in the situation or the equation. I just want to just be like, understand that I'm solid. I'm just saying happy birthday to Jada and Jada Lot. Because I can't say happy birthday to them on Facebook, on both my pages. Because somebody wants to hate and block me and get mad at me for something I said. That was already in existence. I didn't put it out. I didn't post it. I got it from somebody's page and shared it and just put my thoughts on it. And they didn't stone the people that put it there, but they stoned me. Just saying happy birthday to Jaden and Jada Lott. Don't mean to be talking about your mama, but your mama wasn't dead wrong, and she know that. I'm not trying to get back with her. I don't even want to talk about this. I just brought this up because I had a video that was supposed to have been posted and never got posted. So with that being said, y'all know what it is. No disrespect to no one. Love is love. Uh, everything. When people get mad, why are you on social media? And it? Man, fuck all that. Y'all hating because I'm speaking my mind? That's fuck shit. Key word is love. Not the kind of part, but key word is love. Love life. I love life. Why can't y'all do the same? See you, boy. See me on my phone. This is my new phone. You know what I'm saying? Camera in the front with the light on it. Yeah, like that. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? I make my videos do what I do and post what I post. Don't nobody like it, oh well. Y'all take that out for God. Not with me, because I'ma speak my mind. Can't stop me. The only way they can stop me is my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Not y'all. Y'all coming. Oh, well, you was wrong for saying that. No, I wasn't. Where was I wrong at? For speaking my mind? When you wrong, you're wrong. You don't deserve to get no kind of nice treatment when you do somebody wrong. I always remember, respect all walks of life. If you supposedly like, Chad, me come back to the house with the intent that, oh, everything was good, everything was peaches and cream, I'm not that type of woman, then as soon as we get into an argument that she started, oh, I want to run to some dick. I want to go over another nigga's house and spend the night 
and thought that was cute. Like, she, I think my whole mentality thinking was, I believe that she really got me back out there just to go and do that shit again. Just to, you know, it's like, oh, I know that fucking, you didn't want to go through this again. But let me just do it anyway and go to this nigga house. Fuck him. Until you two fuck niggas, three fuck niggas, y'all know who y'all is. I'm not going to even say y'all names. To you niggas that fuck with her. Yeah, I ain't in my best tip-top shape right now, but I'm working on getting myself better. You know what I'm saying? And watch and trust and believe. We ain't going to go into detail. Just note that, okay, keep thinking. I'm finna get these upright. Keep thinking that you, you had a sucker in your face in your presence. I already done fought one of you niggas. Nigga I ain't scared to fight none of you niggas. But the problem is you niggas ain't got no understanding because you niggas on that fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? Never had a problem with these dudes. Every dude she ever got with seemed to just have an issue with me. And I'm like, what the fuck do you have an issue with me for? I don't fucking got no problem with you. I don't even know you. You want to lay up with a woman that clearly don't give a shit about you either. I, just, I don't want no pussy if it's going to fucking cause problems. You a skull and go. Sco, skeet. You can go now. Oh, oh, I can't hang with you now. Nah. Your car, I'll tell you, you can, you can get in and drive off. That part. That part, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. And this is coming from the heart, not from the fucking, oh, I'm just making this up. And At the end of the day, man, wrong is wrong. Right is right. And anybody that thinks differently, whether it be my family, her family, whoever's family, at the end of the day, y'all know what it is, man. But we supposed to act like, nah, that ain't the case. You should have just left. Really? Would you leave if a nigga did you like that? Oh, we I would have left if somebody would done me like that. So they say, oh, I would have left. No, you wouldn't have. You'd be kicking up dust like I am. But you sit there and think it's okay. I just making this video because hmm, that part. But it's your boy, Cali Texas ZNT. Don't y'all take nothing I say in this video as a sneak diss or a slug. It's just facts and I'm speaking truth. No lies in this video. And shout out to those that got love for me. I got love for you. I'm going to stay a West Coast nigga to the mud. I don't understand what some of these niggas be doing in Texas. I don't. <laughs> As Bosco said when he was talking about young, but I don't. I don't. I don't understand, nigga. I don't understand on that shit. And it's no disrespect to no one. This is straight, real talk, real spitteries, real fucking live shit that I'm putting out here to let people know to look. I'm a nice person. I'm all about peace. Fuck all that drama and war shit. Niggas want to think that drama going to solve problems. No, it don't. It makes shit worse. But when you come with them lies and tell the world that I did you wrong, that's when I got to come with facts. Document facts. Proof facts that you can't deny when I put it out there in front of your face. I put it out there in front of your face and when you have to go to live do this, I just go straight out and be like, no, nah, did you not say that? Did you not do that? So I'm lying, right? So I'm lying, right? What I got to lie about? TV broke. I ain't sweating that. Don't even care about it. You know how happy I am? I don't even sweat that. I'm just bringing it up to let it be known that hey, it's okay. I see what it is. It's your boy. I love life, man. Colorblind to this, to this society that be. I claim a color type shit. No, I'm colorblind. Hmm? See me in red one day, see me in blue the next. See me in green the next day, see me in black. See me in black next day, see me in white. See me in white next day, see me in gray. You're going to see me in all different types of colors. But never see me in rainbow colors. Because I'm not a rainbow dude. But shout out to the uh, the community. They know who they is. The alphabet community. I can't L L M N O L G B T. You know what I'm saying? Respect to y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's y'all shit. Y'all rock that. Y'all might as well say y'all gang anyway. That's y'all colors. Y'all rock with it. So y'all might as well say y'all gang anyway. Rainbow colors, gang. And y'all repping the flag, gang. Cause, you know what I'm saying? No, we don't. It just, it just represents us. No, it doesn't. It represents just all different colors. It doesn't represent homosexuality. But y'all took it upon yourself. It's like, just like the flag, that's the racist flag. That don't represent clan. That flag was been around for generations. But we don't know if it represents the clan or not. But a certain state, that's their flag. But it's love on all walks in. Don't take nothing I say in consideration. But anything that I'm telling you 
as far as like that other shit that I said before earlier in the video, that's facts. Facts. No lie, facts. But other than that, it's just really just me talking gibberish. But some of this gibberish is truth. So I love all walks of life. Don't nobody get mad at me. On her side, my side, even the motherfucker I'm talking about. Don't get mad because, oh, I made this video and you in your feelings. Because you don't, I didn't get mad when you was on the phone talking to your peoples about me. And your friends about me. And them niggas you laying up with, sucking they dicks and fucking them about me. I didn't get mad. I just didn't understand why you going on. on, on. You, you, can, you can do that to them, but I can't do it to you as far as like getting on this horn and doing what I do. Just saying. That part. But catch X and T. It's your boy. Love everybody. Love all walks of life. Peace.